It's important to fix this right. I did not want to intervene anything in your time. You invited me yes, to, read. to read. You invited me to translate. To read, yes. This is exactly what I was doing. Hang on, hang on. You, you cannot, you cannot demand the right on my time. So, so now, so now, you made a claim that I have not trans. Hang on, no, 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 I haven't started. No, 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 no. We are not talking. You make no, excuse point. me. Just go, sir. So just go. You okay. can't talk, just go. Okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So now, this game is over. I am not going to keep on demonstrating my Arabic skills, as I've demonstrated already. This, this vowelless reading, I was able to read and translate. Those who are listening, the Arabic speaker, immediately recognize that is the actual translation. You said it's not. It's up on you to establish where my translation is faulty. Now, now, what I want to now ask Hatun is this. We want to move forward this debate. I want three examples of differences between half reading within them, three examples of difference between the wash readings, and I would like you to tell me that they are different instead of showing me orthographical differences, show me the differences between them. Unless you show me there is a different verse, one verse more, one verse less, one chapter more, one chapter less, or difference of surah order, then you will be said to be miserably failing to provide more than one Quran. Because my criteria of you establishing more than one Quran is a Quran that has more or less surahs, a Quran that has more or less ayat. But in my Islamic teaching, the words can be recited differently. That's why I'm not asking you to provide different words, because we accept the Prophet taught certain words even with synonyms differences. So provide us with what you are asked to provide rather than, oh, a textual variant. No, we already said Quran is a multi-form text. The Prophet taught us this. If you can't get this in your understanding, what can I say? You have to deal with our tradition, our understanding of what Quran is. Our Quran is a multi-form recitation. You have to acknowledge that. I am not asking you to go do something which is what we don't believe in. You keep on talking about how the Prophet وسلم, didn't teach. No. I want you to now turn to examples that you say provides evidence that there are more than one Quran. What I did instead, I showed you the variations in Surah number 25. Surah Furqan. Did I just make this up? The variations? No. These are in your Mus'hafs. The Quran copies that you have, they're from there. They're there in al bazis copy. They're there in the Duri copy, in the Susi copy. They're there in Ibn Kathir's copy. That's where they're from. That's where I've read it. If you were to bother to check, 
you will find is exactly how this reading is in those manuscripts, in this um, codices, you can call it, or Quran Mushafs, as we call it. The bound Qurans. This is from there, so I didn't make it up. So now I would like you to now go back to the debate. Yes. Provide us evidence that there's more than one Quran, rather than saying, oh, there are many Qurans. If, if, all the companions during the time of the Prophet all agreed what the Quran is. And they all agreed after the death of the Prophet what the Quran is. Do we have any doubt what the Quran is left by the Prophet? No. Absolutely not. Because we get the Quran through the companions of the Prophet, which they agreed upon. If you now have the disciples of Jesus, they're all agreeing, this is what the gospel Jesus preached. You will say, no, Jesus did not preach this gospel, he preached something else, even though if you have a consensus of the disciples. It's quite rather silly, because when you have the students of the prophet, his companions, his disciples, they all agreed what the Quran is, and you're saying the Quran is different. I find it strange to believe your reasoning. The prophet taught them, and they all agreed. So the Quran that we read today, yes, they're all traced back directly to the Prophet And I will show examples of the chains of narrations of these readings all the way going back to the Prophet in another section. What I want to ask now, Hatun, she doesn't need to check my Arabic. I am not a Arabic scholar. But I can do Arabic reading as I've demonstrated. This, this, and I translated it. What I want you to do, come back to the debate and debate the subject. Tell us what he said wrong. Tell us what he said wrong. He is the king. 
Okay. Okay, let me read it then. Shall I? What's the title? So when do you want me to read it? I'll read no, no, no. I am not gonna no, 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 no. I will read it in your time because you're asking me to read. Last time you in, in that case my time is fast. Hang on. If you want me to read, I'll read it in your time, not mine my time. So why are you being so child? Last time you read it in my time and then you took over my time. So read that in your time. This time I gave you the you know, Where was he at so all? Sexual chemistry. I am amazed that you are making a distinction between Musaf and Quran. Quran doesn't make that distinction. Quran does not make that distinction. You talked about the multiple dissertation. Actually, you mean there were multiple versions of Arabic Quran was exist at the time of Muhammad. Not the multiple dissertations. So to continue, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We are seeing again what? Then I will read. Okay. Now here. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, Most Merciful. Alif Lam Mim. Alif Lam Mim. These are letters. They don't have to be translated because letters don't have to be have a meaning. Dalik al-Kitabu la raiba fi hudal al-Muttaqin. This is indeed a book. There is no doubt about it. A guidance for those who fear Allah. الذين يؤمنون بالغيب، those who believe in the unseen، ويقيمون الصلاة، and those who establish prayer، ومما رزقناهم من فقون، and those who give out in charity what Allah has provided them، والذين يؤمنون بما أنزل إليك، and those who believe in what has been revealed to you، وما أنزل من قبلك، and what which was revealed to before you، وبالآخرة هم يقنون، and they are of the hereafter certain. Now this is from the Quran, Surah Al-Fatiha. This one is from the Bible. She asked me to read the Bible. Now, when the Malak of Ibrahim came down from the sky and said, "I have accepted," he said, "Lord." I don't think there is very eloquent Arabic anyway. I'm from the reason that you did this thing, and you didn't kill your son alone. Very, very, very bad. I pray for you a blessing. وأكثر نسلك تكثيرا كالنجوم السماء وكرمال الذي على شاطئ البحر ويرس I can't even read because it's not very clear نسألك باب أعدائه That's the translated part Now because this is a Bible why even bother This is not the debate The debate is on the Quran You read one line from it Now Hang on So Right No 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 Okay, start again then, my one minute is up. It's start from five. So now, you see it again? Now, to return to the debate. To return to the debate, we heard again Hisham and Umar. Astaghfirullah. Keep dragging and dragging. I said, the Quran was heard recited. And I recited the differences from 
the reading that has been transmitted to us, right. the reading that the Omar used to recite has been transmitted and I gave his reading and I compared with another reading not transmitted from Omar. So clearly I gave you the differences from Omar and from someone else. And you keep on saying, where are they? The example that you gave about Ubay bin Kaab and Ibn Masood objected. We want to see where is his objection because our Islamic tradition very clearly says all of them eventually, including Ibn Masood, agreed, agreed with the Uthmanic compilation. All of them. There was no dispute afterwards. Initially, only one person, Abdullah bin Masood, he didn't want to hand over his mushaf. That's all, because he said, how am I going to you know, give up, recite my writing of the mushaf on someone you know, about Zaid bin Thabit, because he heard all of these 70 or so surah directly from the mouth of the Prophet He had his own personal notes within his mushaf. That was the reason he was reluctant. So what we want to now establish is Hatim, Hatun, sorry, come back to the debate. Now, if you don't come back, I will introduce the debate and carry on forward. Can you pause for a second? I'm just get this book out. Can you pause for a second? Yeah, pause the time. Can you hold this, brother? Did you pause? Some of it. I asked him to pause, he said some of it. Don't worry, you can get more time. No. So now, we are going to move on into this one Quran or 26 Quran business. Now, Hatun obviously didn't provide any examples. Now, these are all the chains of transmission of our Quran all the way going back to the Prophet. We can go through in details later. There's no time to waste. We have them all. Every single reading that we have, the she mentions in 31 or 26 Quran, they all, all go back to the Prophet. Now, let us now give examples. I have here all 71 examples which I'm waiting to go through, which she is avoiding. First example, I'm going to start. This is the reading of Hafs and Duri. What you need to understand is this. If you see both of the reading with a dotless text, it's the same text. Same text. You can read. You can read both of the reading here. وَلَهُمْ عَذَابٌ أَلِيمٌ بِمَا كَانُوا يَكْذِبُونَ or يُكَذِّبُونَ Which one? The Quran? Right. Both of them. The Quran. Now, the Quran. second example. نَغْفِرُوا and يُخْفَرُوا Guess what? It's the same consonantal text. Same text. You can read وَقُولُوا حِتَّةٍ نَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ خَطَيَاكُمْ or يَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ The same text. You can read in... It's there already. Now, اِتَّغَذُوا and ittakhidhu, same Arabic, Uthmanic, consonantal text. Fourth example, miskin and masakin. You can read this here, fidda to ta'ami miskin or ta'ami masakin. Same text. We'll come back later. Hafs and al-warsh, between daf'un and difa'un. It is the same Arabic text. Same one consonantal text. So how many Quran so far? It's the same one Quran, which can be read. Same one Quran that can be read in different readings. The next one. Kafalaha, kafalaha. Same Arabic text. Wa kafalaha, wa kafalaha. You can read both of the readings in the one same consonantal text. Next example. To Alimun and Ta'alamun. Same consonantal text. You can read both the readings in the Uthmanic text. Next one. Which one? Yabghun and Tabghun. It is the same consonantal text. So we have Quran so far 
one text read in different ways. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. You haven't told us the meaning. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Yes.
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Did we see where Ubay bin Kaab radiallahu anhu or Abdullah bin Masood disagreed? No evidence provided. This debate should be based on evidence, not your claims, wishful thinking. Provide your evidence that I can talk. Now, I've been asking for how long? Three examples of differences between the Wars Qur'ans out of your 26 or 31 Qur'ans you have at home. Three examples of difference between the Wars Qur'an and the House Qur'an. Have you heard any? Those of you who had the paper, have you ticked those? Have you provided one example yet? No, you haven't. So you need to provide examples. You need to provide examples of the differences between the Hafs Qur'ans, because that's what I'm saying. If you can provide the differences, then you can say, dots have changed, the vowels have changed, the words have changed. You need to do that, which you have failed in your own words. Failed to provide any examples. Now, you keep saying, I don't know Arabic. So what? The debate is about, is the Quran one or many? Even you, without knowing Arabic, you came to debate the subject. <laughs> and you don't give me the, you know, the right to debate. Well, you don't know Arabic and you can still debate it. Shame, shame, shame. Now, you are keeping talking about what? Muslims are telling lies. Muslims are not telling lies. Muslim scholarship have always said the Quran has been revealed in this way and they've always been taught. There are Quran schools all over the world who are teaching these Qiraat, 10 different readings. I am learning from one of them who has certificate in more than one reading. It's not unusual. It's there even in London. So you are telling lies that Muslims, you keep, you keep your reading list so small, you go to Zakir Nair and you go to Sheikh Ahmed Didat and you think that's it. Instead of bothering to go to Islamic scholarship, what Islamic scholarship have to say about what we believe as the Quran is. So now, you said my translation, I did not correctly. Your translation was awful, <laughs> awful. You asked me to go to your math class. I suggest you take some English lessons. So now to move on to the debate, because what we're doing like all the time as usual, we are beating around the bush. So now I'm going to continue my next example. Can you hold on? Can you pause for a second? 223. Can you pause? No, no, I'm going to get something out. So pause for a second, please. Um, Muslim brother, can you hold this for me? Can you hold on? When I put on YouTube, it's going to be I'm going, I'm going. Robert Swords for his hand. So, watch it. Take care of that. Take care of that. Okay, Bismillah. It's come off from the ring binder, so I'm going to be very careful, right? So now let's move on. The next example. We did kafalaha to Al Limun 383. Okay. Next one here. Between Qatala and Qutila. If you look at it, it's the same consonantal skeleton. You can read the both of the reading from the same text. Next one, Qatalu and Qutilu. Again, same consonantal text. You can read the both readings as you demonstrate. It was done without any dots. And you, without the dots, you can read both of these readings. So, so far, still the same one Quran, even though in various multiple recitations or readings. Next example. Qiyaman and Qiyaman. Again, same consonantal text without any vowels. Same one Quran. The next one, 413, Yudkhilu and Nudkhilu. Again, same consonantal text. You can read the both readings. So how many Quranic texts so far we have seen? One, one text of the Quran. Same Quran, 
read within this Uthmanic graphic form in different ways. But I'm not saying, I already stated, there are other graphic forms, Uthman sanctioned and sent, which would be slightly different. But so far, all the examples chronologically, out of your 71, it's the same text. So now, Hatun, you in your next segment, God willing, will provide one extra ayah out of this 31 Quran or one less ayah? One extra surah or one less surah within this 31 Quran? It's your turn. Get the power of Jesus to help you. Get Jesus to I am amazed. I am amazed again. Mansur makes a claim that it's one Quran. While his prophet is disagreeing with him, Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you so much for providing an extra ayah out of these 31 mushafs, less or more, or extra surah, less or more. But I thank you again from the bottom of my heart. I don't have a bottom anyway, but I have the bottom of my My heart doesn't have a bottom, that's what I mean. Now, you talk about Ibn Mas'ud, and you talk about, you want to carry on with the rain? You want to carry on with the rain? You talk about how Ibn Mus Ibn Mus Mas'ud and Ubay bin Kaab. Right? What you don't realize is this: the Quran that we have is the consensus of the companions. As I see that we bring the people on a single mushaf, so that there is neither division nor discord. And all of them they said an excellent proposal. So this is in Ibn Abi Dawood in Kitabul Masahif. Right. Page 22. The book that you love, don't interrupt. The book that you so much love to quote. There are other references. Now, so the Quran that we have is the consensus of all the companions. And that's the Quran that we read today. So the Quran collectively agreed by the companions is the Quran of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the same Quran. Now, you again, suddenly, not suddenly, purposefully avoided the examples that I provided, which is so love to talk about being so many different Qurans, and you fail to even deal with one of them. I am refuting you, debunking your claim that there are more than one Quran. How do I do that? I go to the two examples that you quote, and I go to the Uthmanic skeleton, how it would have been written, written, and you can see it's the same one text. Meaning what? One Quran. If you can't get this in your maths class, you need to go to some other class. That's what I have to say. Now, Ibn Mas'ud, do you not realize Ubay bin Kaab and Ibn Mas'ud? Ubay bin Kaab himself was in the committee writing the Mus'haf. And Ubay bin Kaab and Ibn Mas'ud, both of them, are the teachers from which we get the 10 readings. How many times do I have to repeat it? Right. So, when we now see the Prophet, when we now see an example that you caught, oh, Ubay bin Kaab said this. He, who is the greater authority? Him or the Prophet? Said the Prophet. The Prophet Wasallam told us the best surah to recite is Surah Al Fatiha, surah number one. And he also taught us Surah 113 and 114, which was not in his mushaf. So who should we now give credence to? The Prophet. Wasallam. Are you now going to say, I'm going to abandon the teaching of my Prophet and take the teaching of Ubay bin Kabul ibn Masud, even though you misunderstand that what they have said? In fact, we also have, from the first century of manuscripts, Surah Al-Fatiha from the Sana manuscript, Surah Al-Fatiha and Surah Al-Falaq and Nas from the manuscripts, long before your traditions were compiled. You get this, you get this traditions, there are differences, right? From Kitab al-Masaif, Ibn Abu Dawud and so on. 
I have provided you now documentary evidence long before they were born from Quranic manuscripts which contain Surah 1, 113 and 114. You are debunked so badly, Hatun. Now, in terms of Ubay bin Kaab and Ibn Masood, again in their chapters, do you know what Ibn Masood said about Surah Al-Fatiha? He said, if I were to write Surah Al-Fatiha, I would write it in front of every single surah. Does that mean he considered this was not part of his Quran? Of course not. He never denied it because he's the one who taught us in one of the chain, Qiraat. Not only this, we have Arthur Jeffrey himself. Arthur Jeffrey, in his materials for the text of the history of the Quran, giving variants in chapter 1, Ibn Masood's Quran. How is that possible if he did not have chapter 1 in his Musha? Oh. Thank you very much for confirming that Quran has been changed yes. and corrupted. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much for confirming Quran contains many textual variations. Yes. Thank you very much for confirming that written Quran has been changed. Here's the thing. Okay, I will come and Ibn Masud was not in the committee of the compiling the Quran. They were not. They were. You talked about. They were. The, about, they you were. About, the baby cup was. You talked about the. Uh, you talked about the Quran, which uh, baby cup was uh, reciting. كن سعيدا كن فريدا عش بفخر في الحياة لا تبالي